She flashes bragging about robbing a bank, posting about her great day. And yes, the signs she holds up are backwards. Well, now her life is upside down. The holdup in South Central Nebraska may be solved, thanks in part to the suspect herself. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. The York County Sheriff's Office had her in handcuffs even before they knew about the video on YouTube. KATV News Watch 7's Melissa Fry is live with our big story. And in the video, a 19-year-old who looks very much like Hannah Sabata says she's a victim of the government. Now, this is the photo York County authorities have of Sabata taken moments after her arrest last Wednesday. But Sabata apparently spent time in front of another camera that same day. Take a look at this YouTube video titled Chick Bank Robber. Seven minutes of a young blonde boasting about the best day of her life, stating, I just stole a car and robbed a bank. York County investigators think she is Hannah Sabata. The sheriff believes the 19-year-old did indeed rob the Cornerstone Bank in Waco, Nebraska last Tuesday. No gun was ever shown inside the bank. She just said that she had a gun with her. The note said she had a gun. By phone, Sheriff Dale Radcliffe tells me several people helped identify and arrest Sabata long before authorities watched the YouTube video. In Sabata's home, investigators say they found the cash, sunglasses, pink backpack, and license plates off a stolen vehicle, a Pontiac Grand Am. Now in the video, the woman mentions a Pontiac and flashes the keys. She has a lot of cash, saying it's $6,256. Sheriff Radcliffe says Hannah Sabata also bragged over the phone. Yeah, uh, ex-boyfriend got a text message on his phone saying that she had a lot of money and wanted to know if he wanted to go get a tattoo. The woman in the video says she's rich and ready to go on a shopping spree. She also calls herself a victim of the government, saying authorities charged her with neglect, taking her baby before she could even bring him home. A check of Hannah Sabata's records shows the state took her son away last month, weeks before the robbery. Authorities still have to prove Sabata is indeed the woman in the video, but they say they have plenty of other evidence from her home. Evidently, she needs help. Uh, yeah, I think she, uh, eventually she would have done something real serious. She would probably hurt somebody. Now, Sabata is no stranger to the justice system. She faced several charges as a juvenile, including third-degree assault and terroristic threats. No word yet on when she'll go to court on the robbery and theft charges. Rob Brandy, back to you.